Hello. Hello. So back at the drill in, started day two. Hey um, I think we were expecting better weather than we've actually got. It's a bit cloudy, but maybe that's a good thing. Who knows? This is blue. Bit, yeah, might brighten up. It's a slightly longer today, 14 miles, I think. We've had a bit of a game getting here, mainly through a combination of my incompetence with the sat nav and the sat nav itself not being particularly good. I am really, aren't I? Yeah. So we're going through Litchfield today. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> that's a joke, that's all your bear on film. Well, for a small fee. <laughs> so, we're heading off to Litchfield <laughs> and the cathedral. Just wanted to stop and um, do a bit of a panorama view. We just passed this lovely place called And it's all been very quiet lanes and, and fields, it's been very pretty. As I was just saying, there's a lot of money there, you, you can see it in the properties. Not for the likes of I, Governor. Just coming into the outskirts of Richfield now. And we're probably about a mile away from the cathedral itself, which we're we're gonna have a stop and have a look at. Again, walking across some very pleasant meadows for the last mile or so. It's been a very nice day so far. That's him. That's a good one. Is that the Darwin that was part of the Louvre? So we finally reached Litchfield and Litchfield Cathedral. <laughs> just stopped a little detour, just have a look at the place. I've been here before, but it was, I was probably about their age last time I came here. with Wells Cathedral in that it's covered in these carved figures but Wells Cathedral is much older and the figures have been disfigured over time either deliberately or accidentally so a lot of this cathedral is um, a Victorian rebuild after it was slighted in the Civil War still nonetheless it's an impressive building just left Litchfield behind us but I have to say it's not the nicest stretch of the route we've done so far we're walking down the A51 which doesn't really have any defined footpath with a view to leaving it as soon as possible but um no it's not the prettiest well we've just started off again after lunch and we're walking along this bridleway in the distance there there's a huge radio mast which has been a fairly dominant feature wherever we've been the last two days and uh, I'm kind of hoping that we walk if not right up to it but close enough yes well that's a relatively flat walking for two days almost we've suddenly walked into hill country that looks like we're lost again. Okay. Would it be that hedge over there? One's got more of a stride on than the other one. They're a different bloke, aren't they? He's a fat guy. Fat guy up here. He's slim when he gets back down. He's lost weight. Before and after. 
He walked it both ways here. So oh, basically, yeah. we don't know where to go. Yeah. It says go through the farmyard and left, left of the house, we did that. After 80 metres, take the drive on the left and take the sky off and bear left of the fork of the bridge. Straight ahead with the left edge, be right. Yeah. Yeah. Take the stile and cross the field, passing the edge of a wood. Well, there's Take a the wood up there. There's a wood there. Either so way, we get the wood. GPS. Well, we managed to pick up the right route again, and it's beautiful. Look at this. How green is my valley? Heidi and all that nonsense. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, and I think the weather helps, of course. But the grass is so green, and the trees are well, all lush with spring growth. Very nice spot. That's Colin filming me, filming him, and that's the transmitter, which sadly we never did walk past. Right, well we've just climbed up Gorsey Hill, which you're looking back down now. It doesn't look much, but on a hot day, it's quite a long, slow pull. Left us all a little breathless, but the reward is the views, which are 360 degrees almost. Nice, isn't it? So well worth the climb. We've just come from that direction. I don't. You can't even see Litchfield anymore. Actually, you can. I don't know if you can pick up Litchfield, but you can just see it. I'll zoom in. Those are the spires in the distance. I don't know if that'll pick it up. An awful long way away, considering we were there just before lunch. Yeah, so Not really sure. Just to show you another lovely view. There's been lots and lots of these today. I'm about to get run over. And there's the ever-present radio mast, but it's behind us now. We're going to be losing sight of it as the next few miles tick by. Some beautiful houses down there. Lottery win, definitely. Better go and catch up with the others. Well, this is the last stretch of road before we get to the end of the, the journey in Drayton Bassett. And it's been a, a really superb day. The weather's been glorious. The walk's been glorious. Um, yeah, good second day. So we're going to get back to the car, then drive back to my car, and then have a pint because we've earned it. <laughs>